finding ways to lose in a different way for the Toronto Blue Jays. And this is why I didn't get too high on the win yesterday because it was still very sloppy. And today, Chris Bassett doesn't pitch very well. Whether you want that, whether you want to attest that to Kirking up behind the dish and Heineman back there, but Bassett also calls his own games. So, yeah, how much is it really that big of a factor? It's possible. But either way, Bassett was not very good. The Jays have the fake comeback late, almost draw us all in, and lose yet another ball game and are now 27 and 26 on the season. And I'm going to quickly go through Bassett's line because it is not pretty. Four innings, seven runs, all were earned. Five Ks and walked two, but he allowed two more home runs. And the problem today was he was falling behind in counts almost all the time. Almost all the time he was falling behind hitters. And when you're doing that, you're asking for trouble. And he wasn't great. But let me also bring something up that, of course, just pe- just just really gets under the skin. So, Kevin Kiermeyer leaves the game with lower back tightness, strain, whatever, whatever they called it. A mere what, two or three innings after that, fly ball to, and it's a tie game. Fly ball to center field, and it goes off the tip of the glove of Dalton Varsho and goes over. Would it have gone over without him tipping it? We'll never know. But it looked like Varsho helped it go over. And you can't help but think, if Kiermaier was out there, the hops are better than Varsho. He's obviously a center fielder by trade and he's known to rob home runs. That seemed like a doable one. Does that get caught? Because you can't blame Varsho for anything. Look, you can't blame him at all. Gave you an A-grade effort. It hit his glove. It just, uh, it very unlucky. But it's the way this month has gone for the Blue Jays. They have lost in different ways. Whether it was the offense being pitiful. Whether it was the bullpen giving up a ton of runs. And now the Blue Jays pitching staff is walking a ton of guys. Now, yes, Bass only walked two. So I'll give him that. But he was behind in counts so often. Gosman had five walks yesterday. Manoa had four on Thursday. For some reason, this is happening right now. And if the Blue Jays can find a way tomorrow to get a W, find a way. You go home with a series win and then you get a day off on the Monday. It is crucial for their mental state That they get that win tomorrow. And you got Jose Barrios going against his former team. And Bailey Ober on the mound for the Minnesota Twins. So it's not going to be an easy one by any means. But let's quickly break down this ball game and how it transpired. We already talked about the home runs. I'm not going to go too into depth on that. But top of the first inning. Bo Bichette, solo shot. Jay's got a 1-0 lead. Phenomenal. Bo's got 11 home runs now on the season. Bottom one. You start off with walking Joey Gallo. And then it starts to implode, right? You get an RBI ground out from Kirilov because they have guys at second and third, nobody out. You get the one strikeout, and then the RBI ground out gets in the first run. But then Matt Walner gets a two-run single, a bloop single, scoring two, and it's a 3-1 lead for them now, right after the Jays take a 1-0 lead. Then in the bottom half of the second, Edward Julian, the Canadian kid, damn it, uh, hits an RBI double, Kyle, Fa- Kyle Farmer comes in to score, and Kyle Farmer, who they, they were talking about on the radio broadcast, about how him and, I'm assuming it's Michael A. Taylor, are horrific offensively, gets a single to lead off that inning, later scores, and now you're down 4-1. But then the Jays, tri- you know, chip away. Bo Bichette, RBI triple, Springer scores, and Tyler Heineman comes in to score because he, he was on base via the walk. It's a one-run ball game. Bo's at third with only one away. Vladdy? Strikes out. Oh my god. They just... he. Uh, I don't know what it is, guys, but watching Vladdy right now is kind of painful to witness. It really is. And I put that up there for that specific reason. He's got to figure it out. 
If this team wants to go anywhere, he has to be extra special. Now, I'm not talking 2021, more, more often than not, MVP award winner. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the small ball stuff, too. There was a game a few games ago where he committed two errors leading... Wasn't it Bassett's last start? You know, leading two runs. Leading to extra batters that he had to face. And how many times, Jays fans, over the last week or so, we've seen these fake comebacks, but they've had that chance to lay with a tying run at the plate or the tying run at first and Vladdy up. And he hasn't got it done. Right? So you're, still, you're only down one run, though. Top four... Kevin Biggio's got a bat because now Kevin Kiermaier is gone. And Biggio hits a home run to center field. It's fourth of the year. And we got a tie game of four. Phenomenal stuff. We move ahead to the bottom of the fifth, though, and that's when everything falls apart. The Willie Castro drive to center field. It goes off the glove of Varsho and out of the ballpark. And you're down 6-4. And then Matt Walner hits his first home run. Back-to-back. For the, uh, for the Minnesota Twins, and that gives them a 7-4 lead, and it pretty much sealed it. Well, it did steal the deal for, <clears throat> for Chris Bassett. But then they continue to add on, and then this is where the Blue Jays' bullpen, Jimmy Garcia, not great. Simber, not great. Bottom seven, Willie Castro, solo shot. Bottom eight, Edward Julien, solo shot. Then, like I said, the Jays make it interesting. Top nine, Dalton Varsh with a two-run shot, scoring Whit Merrifield. You going know, to make it a 9-6. And then I think Bijou gets hit by a pitch. Then Kirk comes on to pinch, or he was already in to pinch hit. Um, gets a base hit. You have two on, nobody out for George Springer. He gets out, but then Bo hits a single. And you have the two on and one out for Vladdy. Down two, he's the go-ahead run. The tying run is on first, and it's just a, a routine fly ball to right field. And uh, there's a second out, and Brandon Belt strikes out to end the ball game. The fake comebacks suck. Raptor fans dealt with it for so damn uh, a ton of this year. Down 25 at the half. They make it a five-point game at one point, and now you lose by 15. It happened all year long for the Raptors, and recently it's happened a ton for the Blue Jays. They're just finding different ways to lose right now. Whether it's your starting pitching, whether it's the offense, whether it's the bullpen. Because you can even look at the bullpen, and sure, Anthony Bass was great. Two innings, didn't allow a base runner, had two Ks. Really settled it down after Bassett left the game. But then Adam Simber, one inning, three hits allowed, a home run and a strikeout. So obviously allowed the solo shot. Jimmy Garcia went out there an inning, you know, allowed two hits and a home run. Struck out three, which is <clears throat> struck out three, which is great, but you allowed two runs and two innings there. You're asking you need to put up zeros to allow your team to crawl back into a game. But when you don't, like that, you're asking for trouble. And then yeah, the Jays offense, you know, they come through a little later. Bo Bichette. Uh, he's been great. You know, three for five with a run scored, four RBIs, a home run in the game. He's now hitting 335 on the season. And this team's, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, offensively, what else did you get? Uh, Kirky was one for two in the ball game. Uh, Biggio, one for three. Obviously, had the home run scored twice. Looks, yeah, hit by a pitch and came around to score. Uh, everything else is just one first across the board. One for five for Vladdy. He's now hitting 289 on the season. The numbers have really tailed off in the month of May for Vladdy. And also, Matt Chapman has fallen off a cliff. Look, we knew the April numbers wouldn't continue, but he went 0 for 4 today with two strikeouts, and his average is now 283. 283, guys. With an on-base percentage of still 359 is still solid, but he is far from what he was earlier this year. Far from it. And that's your five hitter, and you have Brandon Belt hitting fourth. Love what Brandon Belt's been doing for this team, but he's not a number four hitter. But then you beg, that, that begs the question, who is? Is it Chapman? Because he's been abysmal in May. Is it Varsho? We've seen that before. He's, he's, he's struggled a lot this year. So who is it? That's the problem we're having here. And there's no solution in-house. So you got to figure it out somehow. Like I said, the finale of this series goes tomorrow as Jose Barrios goes up against Bailey Ober in the finale. 2-10 first pitch there in Minnesota. The Jays need to win this game. You win that game. It's a happy flight home for the fellas. You win a series for the first time since that Atlanta series that we had. And you have a day off to just kind of take a breather, take a step back. But you lose tomorrow. 
while the losing streak continues and when it comes to series, then you got to come back and you have a day off to let it sit. Which is the last thing you want to deal with. Alright? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and not this game today, hit that like button. I do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you guys not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game. Would you like, would you not like from today's game for the Toronto Blue Jays? Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok, all those links are down below. So go check them out. And I will talk to you guys, Jays Edition, of course, the finale of the series tomorrow afternoon, 210 first pitch there in Minnesota. Jose Barrios, Bailey Ober is the pitching matchup in the finale. Please, for the love of God, win this series. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and definitely not this finish today. We'll talk to you guys then.